hi guys how's everybody doing today i hope that everybody's doing great i hope you guys don't mind that i am wearing the same clothes have the same makeup same hair as um some of my other videos i'm not sure if you're gonna see them before or after this video but i apologize um i just that you know with my back issues and stuff i don't really do my makeup very often i don't really sit down very often to like film so when i do get ready and do my makeup and my hair i just want to get a bunch of videos out of the way so i hope you guys don't mind but i have a sephora haul for you guys i have this is a collective haul it's not like i went and purchased all of this <laughs> at the same time that would be insane for my poor wallet but um yeah i just want to show you some of the things that i've been um purchasing here and there and uh yeah let's talk about them i will be trying to use some of these and videos and stuff like that i was also thinking of like um doing things in my instagram as well just because sometimes i just don't have the energy to sit here and film but um yeah let me know what you guys think so let's get started with the haul because i have so many cool and exciting things in this bag so <laughs> the first thing that i'm going to pull out is this cute little um kit from kosas so this comes with a lip balm a small size of their deodorant a small size of their mascara and then a lip oil as well so i've been wanting to try more from this brand and that's the reason why i wanted to get this kit um just because um it is a pricey brand so kits like this is a good way to explore you know some items especially mascaras because i'm so um picky with them so great kit to um you know get your curiosity out of the way and it was 29 dollars. if you guys are curious um also this is very exciting i finally was able to find the dior backstage blush that everybody's been talking about this is in the color pink and it's really pretty but you guys i don't know if it's worth the price Ugh, i have to try it on my face to like really say if it's worth or not the price but it's really cute really pretty i've been in two shades like these lately so can't wait to use this on my face it has a little mirror love the packaging so cute but it's also very very small and it's a very pricey blush so can't wait to give it a try and see what i think of it um i also picked up the fenty beauty uh new lip gloss that they have so this is called hot cherry and it's the beautiful red shade and it has like does it i thought it had like glitter but i don't think it's glitter i think it's just like bubbles but it's really pretty i love red shades um i do like her lip glosses i will never repurchase her um um her lip uh her liquid lipsticks um i'm they don't last very long they go bad very fast and for the price tag i don't personally i don't think that they're, they're worth it so i will never get that but i do love their lip glosses so can wait to try that um i also picked up something that i've been like curious about and that is the brazilian um or it's not called Brazilian, it's called the Sol de Janeiro um, Little Body Spray. And this is in the shade, or in the um, scent, uh, che che Rosa, I think it's called. And it's Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. So this is just the body spray. It smells really good. I love the packaging. It's a little bit more of like a sweeter scent that i'm used to i love sweet scents but this one's like really sweet so i'll see how it does sometimes certain like scents might give me a headache so i'm kind of worried about that with this one but we'll give it a try and see we'll see how it goes i saw this in the website and i thought that it was the cutest thing it's called the little shots from kaja and it has two lip glosses in here um, it has milk tea and rosy mocha. So milk tea is the light one. Rosy mocha is the dark one. And I've been wanting to try the lip glosses from Kaja because I heard that they were really good. So this was a really nice kit to try them. They're not full sizes, but the sizes are pretty good. 
um and that's perfectly fine with me because i don't go through lip glosses very often so very excited about this little kit and it also came with little stickers how cute is that super adorable i found this little kit to be extremely 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 cute and i think it's like less than 20 dollars. so very nice very very nice i heard a few people talk about this brand and i was very curious about it so i wanted to pick up a few items and you know give them a go for myself and see what i thought it's the lys beauty brand so i picked up a matte bronzer and this one is in the shade courage and i love oh i just ripped it i love the packaging it's very unique very different to any of the other brands but i do have to say that rcl beauty did it first <laughs> she has the same exact packaging on her not the exact same but it's the same shape they're a triangle so this is the bronzer very cute it comes with a mirror love the packaging i also picked up the um, powder for your face and i got it in the shade ambition which is the medium tan they don't have like a lot of shades to choose from that is the one bad thing but yeah, I'm going to give this a try and see. It's a little yellow, but we'll see. And I also picked up a blush, and this is a cream blush. So this is the Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Self Love, which is also uh, a pink. I've been into, like, pinks lately. I feel that they look really nice with my skin tone and my dark hair. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. I have to say, very different than the packaging. But we'll give it a go and see. Can't wait to try those. I picked up one more Dior item. So this is the um, Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Universal. So I do have a couple of these face palettes and I love them. I think that they're really, really nice and really pretty. And I was missing this one, so I went ahead and picked it up. And these are what the shades look like they're all very glowy so if you don't like glowy products then <laughs> stay away from this because they're all very very glowy but can't wait to try that i decided to pick up a few items from the mario collection so i picked up the the stick blush in the shade raspberry and i do love the packaging it's super cute love this bright pink color and then it has a brush on the other side which i didn't know <laughs> i watched the video and i was like mesmerized i was like oh my god so i went and grabbed it and i was like oh it does so can't wait to give this a try i can't wait to give the mario brand a try i haven't tried any of the stuff that i've hauled in the past i'm waiting to um do a video and then i picked up a uh, powder brush a powder blush and a powder um bronzer and also a highlight oh no I picked up the bronzer and the stick as well so here is the bronzer oh wrong side here's the bronzer and I picked up the bronzer and the shade medium also got a powder uh, blush right here this is in poppy pink of course obsessed with that pink love packaging and i picked up one of his highlights same packaging very white very pretty oh no i picked up okay the highlight is in there somewhere okay <laughs> so i guess i picked up a bronzer as well and this one's in medium dark i kind of wanted to give like both formulas a try i guess okay here is the highlight so i picked up one of the, his highlights as well same packaging and this is in golden so i'm gonna save all these products for a video that's why i'm not like swatching or anything hope you guys don't mind but yeah pick those up i'm gonna use them in a video um i got a free gift with purchase and i thought that this was a pretty good gift i mean they're pretty big 
Um, they are the Living Proof Shampoo, Conditioner, Moisture Mask, and Styling Cream. So, very cool, very cool um, gift. Okay, so then I also picked up a few things from Huda Beauty. Things that I've been curious to try and I just haven't bought them in the past. So, I got a few things here. So the first thing is the powder. So this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder and I got mine in banana bread. So I've heard so many people talk about this and I was like, you know what, it's time for me to try it. <laughs> so I picked it up. Love the packaging, love the square, so cute. I think that the color is gonna be perfect. I have heard that they're very like scented, so we'll have to try it and see um was also curious about her um bronzers her cream bronzers so i got one of those as well i do have to say i thought it was gonna be bigger i mean it is pricey <laughs> but I, I honestly thought that it was gonna be a little bit bigger but this is what it looks like and i got it in fair because with cream bronzer, I'm a little, like, scared because I'm not, like, 100% used to wearing cream bronzers. So I got it in the shade Fair. Very pretty packaging, I have to say. Very, very pretty. I also wanted to give a try um, to the water jelly primer i've heard good things about it and i think the packaging is beautiful so i wanted to give it a try very pretty so got that and the last huda beauty item that i got was the um the glow obsessions palette so this looked really really pretty and i was able to swatch it in store i know that since the pandemic we haven't been able to swatch anything in store but they had one to swatch so i swatched it and it was beautiful so that's what it looks like i do love her highlights and this one is in i think this is the light one they have a couple of different shades i think this is the yeah the light one so I'll swatch one for you guys so you can see. Like, they're insane. Her highlights are insane. <laughs> Let's swatch this pink one. So pretty. I love her highlights. And the packaging is also very pretty. Very, very pretty. I love it. And let's see. The last thing that I got... The last thing that I got was, oh my gosh, was very exciting. <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to buy it just because it's so expensive. But you know what? I had some points that I could use on it. And I got the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. So I haven't tried it yet. So I've been saving it for a video. But then I got sick with my back, so I haven't been able to try it at all. But it has two cream shadows here, and then those colors are beautiful. And I kid you not, as I was walking through Ulta looking for it, this was the last one. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky you found, you found one. And everybody was like, you're going to love it. Oh my god, uh, it's the best palette ever. Like, every person that saw me with this palette would stop me and tell me how good it was. So... I was sold I was sold with that so yeah that is everything that I picked up from um, Sephora I hope that you guys enjoyed this little haul uh, I didn't swatch a lot of the things because I do want to um, film videos with some of this stuff so I didn't want to um, swatch to talk about it in those videos but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video